Now before getting started with this video, I want to explain what exactly the AUR is. I'm not going to go too into detail on the specific terminology because I would like to make this video short and sweet, but if you would like to, the Arch Linux Wiki is a very great resource for a lot of knowledge, even, on, even for other distributions actually. So the Arch User Repository is a community-driven repository for Arch users. It contains package descriptions, package builds, that allow you to compile a package from source with make package and then install it via Pacman. Pacman or package manager is the literal uh, the package manager on Arch Linux. Now the AUR has a whole bunch of software that you can install and is probably the biggest reason why I personally would use Arch because of the AUR. The AUR does not host like Spotify or uh, ungoogled Chromium or the Minecraft launcher um, personally. What it's actually doing, as I specified, is hosting package builds to build those packages on the uh, Arch system. So there are ways to there are ways to uh, do and uh, set up this process uh, automatically. We have package managers like Yay and Pyro, which automatically look for a package on the AUR and follow the package build to install Spotify or on Google Chromium, etc, etc. Um, now, why am I explaining what the Arch user repository is? Isn't this a video for Ubuntu? Quite so. So, check this out. We have uh, ways to kind of on Ubuntu at least as of recently, this is a very recent development. We have a way to make these uh, packages from the AOR, the package builds on the AOR, into uh, Debian files and then install them on our system. Now, this isn't just exclusive to Ubuntu, we can do this on other Debian based distros as well, like Debian itself or also uh, Pop OS. But that is precisely what Make Deb does it is taking the package builds. Uh, from a the AUR and it's making them Debian files or .deb files so that they are installable with the apt package manager. It is a very interesting idea. Um, I would like to add a little disclaimer here and say that, like I said, this is a very recent development. It's very new and uh, when I tried to install packages Personally, like Spotify, big boy packages, Spotify, Google Chrome, stuff like that. Uh, it didn't, it didn't seem to work. Um, but I still want to bring awareness to this this really cool this really cool thing. So there's Make Deb. Well, you might have noticed here is the uh, there is a uh, package, a quote unquote package manager that kind of automates this process. You know, rather than having to uh, take the package build. Uh, download from the AUR, you can actually do this automatically like you would with Yay or Paru, uh, as I was explaining uh, earlier. And so NPM will search the AUR for a specific package and then it will install it uh, onto your system. It will search for the package build, it will make it into a Debian file, and then it will install it. Or at least that is the concept. Now, like I said, this is very new. Um, so anything that doesn't work, uh, I, I'm not even really going to uh, discredit them for. But right here, we're going to copy and paste this into our terminal. Um, brief explanation, this is basically just going to add the repository and sign it. Um, and then from there, we can use apt to install uh, NPM or NPM alpha. Uh, alpha being that, uh, as expected, don't run the alpha release if you're expecting stability. Things can break occasionally and you will need to know how to get around your system when that happens. So, uh, because I'm a nihilist, I'm just going to install the alpha build anyway. Of course, if I was fair, I'd be using NPM to just install it, but whatever. So, <laughs> we are going to attempt to install a package. And I'm going to be very unfair with its uh, first example. We're going to type. Whoops. We're going to type npm install Spotify, and we're going to see how that works. So as you can see, it is cloning from the AUR, 
cloning into Spotify, and we have the ability to even check out its package build. We can check out the file, and if everything looks ship shape, I'm not even going to pretend that I know what's going on here, uh, it will install. So, press no, and it's going to attempt to build Spotify. So it's running. Um, so as you can see, it had a it kind of failed there. That's okay. That's okay. Again, you can only expect so much. But as a proof of concept, it would have installed Spotify from the AUR. Let's try something smaller. Let us remove the NeoFetch from. Let's remove NeoFetch from our system, and let's see if. Uh, oh, I use npm. <laughs> npm. Uh, let's use npm install neofetch. So it is going to search the AOR for neofetch, and it will attempt to install it. And if it does so successfully, we will have neofetch on our system. And check that out. That was not installed from Debian, uh, from the uh, uh, from the Debian uh, Ubuntu repositories. That was installed from npm. That is pretty cool. Uh, that's pretty cool. So, like I said, this is very obviously new. If you're going to attempt to do this yourself, don't uh, don't expect all packages to install like Spotify and on Google Chromium and stuff like that. Uh, go for smaller packages. Little fish need to be a uh, uh, little fish need to be. I don't really know what I'm trying to say here, but I think you get my point. So, uh, thank you for watching. Um, I'll leave a link to both Make Deb and NPM or NPM. <laughs> Very used to saying NPM in the description. And with that being said, have a wonderful day. Hope this video was of use to you.